Hello everyone, welcome to Lanu Flow. In this video, we will be discussing why any index starts with zero. So, you, as a programmer, you have noticed that uh, every time you declare an array, you just start the array elements with zero, right? Uh, you start, like we know array, array starts from zero. So, it's a mystery, like why we all of a sudden will start using zero for our array elements. So, in this video, we'll discuss more about it. We'll understand why this is made or when we are, uh, when someone was uh, building the computer or computers were built for the first time, then why from that time it was decided to use zero or the array elements. So, that's all we'll discuss in this, in this video. So, watch the video till the end and I will explain you in depth the details of this reasons why it starts with zero. So, let's start. So to understand why array index starts with zero, we first need to understand, we first need to go through the definition of array once. So that if you just remind or just remember the array definition, it says array is a collection of elements stored at a contiguous memory location, right? So in array, we just uh, store a collection of elements, right? In array, we just store some collection of elements in some contiguous memory location, like the memory location are one after the other, right? And how do we access an array? So when we access an array, we access it by calling the first location of the first uh, uh, memory address, right? So once you call the location of the first memory address, we know that all are in the same order and since the, and the, that manner the compiler can find out which location we want to access to. So the array definition says it's the collection of items. So it's actually a whole collection of the item we have here, right? Now, uh, in an array, an array is stored such that the position of each element can be uh, computed from its index by some mathematical formula for for that so we have an array say we have an array here and that's the array sorry for this uh, ridiculous drawing okay so we do how we uh, store each element so the position of each element is actually computed with some mathematical formula from the starting position okay so from some uh, with some uh, mathematical formula we actually access this element so in that case uh, it saves our extra memory like it saves us time for searching of memory once we know this is the one memory and we can easily calculate it so we don't need to search throughout our memory right so that saves time in searching so that's the basic definition of array now if we declare an array let's take an example of uh, say we declare an array of uh, integer type and we call it as say and here let's take an example of array and we call it as say uh, int uh, int uh, a of 10 okay so there's uh, 10 blocks in it so if it say something like this so as an average to all programming languages you can understand that this means that there are 10 blocks in that uh, array array and we can assign 10 values to it but uh, remember just just try to remember something we say a of 10 but the exact array index is goes from 0 till 9 all right so array indices goes from 0 till 9 now we know that there are so this is actually our 10 uh, memory blocks is there right uh, exactly 10 memory blocks are there and uh, we know that this 10 memory blocks are actually the exact sequence of memory blocks there's uh, each of them are uh, stored in exact sequence now if storing an uh, integer type value uh, takes say two bytes uh, if we store integer type value here, we say it's in int. So if storing of integer type value, if we consider storing that takes two bytes of space, then uh, for each block, that means for each block, uh, it should take you two bytes, right? For each block here, it should take you two bytes. So, it should take you the two byte space. Now, the we consider that the first value or the first location of this value is stored at what position? Say we say uh, this is stored at uh, memory address 3000. All right. So I'm talking about the memory address, not the array index or not the uh, anything else, not the value in that array, not that. I'm talking about the memory address now. So this uh, first memory address is to it's stored at 3000. So if this is stored at 3000, so the first block would take two or uh, two bytes space. So memory address 3000 and 3001 would be taken by this first block to just the first index, uh, the first index to store an integer type array, it would require it to store two bytes. So it would take two memory, uh, one uh, like 3000 and 3001, if you consider that it starts from 3000. So in that case, if we just try to place the whole array blocks here, look, the starting address starts from 3000. So the, that's the starting value we have here. So that's the starting value. And it starts from 3000 here, right? So it starts from 3000. So it takes two values, 3000 and 3001, right? Uh, it takes two values, 3000 and 3001. After that, the second block comes. The second block starts from 3002 and it takes two values, 3002 and 3003. 
then comes 2004 and it even takes two values 2004 and 2005 so those are the two byte space it is taking say uh, and i mentioned the starting address was 2000 and i a few more minutes back i said that the compiler for uh, while you are interpreting with arrays the compiler only knows this starting address okay compiler is only aware of this starting address compiler for any of the maybe any of the programming language you are using so compiler is only aware of this starting address that it starts from 3000 so compiler won't search for other elements compiler directly go to the 3000 and when you are accessing other array indexes it would go to for that exact position okay now 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 let's deep dive why we are assigning it zero like you might be wondering what i am telling till now we are supposed to discuss about the why it is this starts with zero and goes till nine right so that that was a question so now let us assume for some instance that this starts with one and goes till 10 all right so let us assume this thing that this starts in one and goes to still 10 all right if this starts at one and goes till 10 then then the first address here would be one the second uh, index would be here two right third index would be three the fourth index would be four and so the fifth index would be five right this is the thing that would happen here focus more carefully if we just try to uh, at this position and this would go on in case we just try to access something say we just tried uh, ask our uh, compiler to or ask our program to uh, print say a of five right if we say print it a of five then what would happen to our uh, compiler how would compiler try to find out so we should reach this value right we should reach a value that's here that's stored at this location right now let's find out how compiler would do then compiler needs to reach from 3000 till 2008. So once compiler reached 2008, and we have to, we want the fifth address, right? We assume that this is our this is our current indexing. Indexing starts from Z1 and goes till 10. Now we want our fifth address. So if we want our fifth address, then we need to then the compiler needs to go to 3008 location. So compiler needs to reach a location of 3008, and compiler knows only the location of 3000. So by some mathematics or some calculation, you should reach there. So the mathematics is somewhere like this. The base address here, the base address here is for us is 3000, right? So that's the base address here for us. And after that, we need to reach fifth address. So that's five. And we have each, uh, each box was taking how much space? Each box was taking two bytes of space, right? So we need to reach 2008. So if this is the case, then we need to do something like that. We need to subtract one from our index. Index was what? Index was five for our case, right? So we need to subtract one from our index and multiply it with the number of bytes, then add, add it with our best address. And this would ultimately give you what? 3008, the value we are asking for, that is 3008, right? Look, this is how the whole thing is working with us. Now, this was an assumption that our array index is starting from one. And in that case, to reach a fifth element or to find the fifth element, we did what? we need to do this kind of uh, calculation or a similar calculation to reach our fifth element address okay go on a reverse case on a reverse case if our array elements starts from zero the current thing that we can see so our array element starts from zero so if we're trying to add, uh, pick the fifth element then if we're trying to pick the fifth element then what we have called here uh, in that case we have directly said like the current thing we do here we do in our uh, array we could call a of four so if I call a of four, look uh, what uh, goes. So we have again 3000. We have again this four here already. We know this index here. So we don't need to make an additional subtraction, right? So we don't need to do an additional subtraction in case we are starting with zero. Or if our array index is starting with zero, then we don't need to do an additional subtraction to reach this four. We can directly use our index here. Now, wh what would, what happens when you do an additional subtraction? When you're going or we are subtracting an element or we are doing an additional subtraction, then this subtraction would again take some uh, amount of time this would again take some amount of time to just do the subtraction because this needs to uh, return to the uh, this calculation is in our computer is done by whom our calculations are done by the alu unit of the uh, processor that you have right or the microchip you have so they have the arithmetic and logical unit in it and that unit does the processing so once we need to access the memory location the compiler needs to return to alu and wait for the alu to actually returning a value uh, to actually make this subtraction do for every operation so whenever the compiler is adding or whenever the compiler is multiplying compiler needs to wait for the alu or uh, to return it uh, ultimate values then compiler will again ask him to make this uh, addition make this uh, multiplication this is a compiler work but we need to do an additional uh, subtraction of minus one so this is a constant value and we know this will happen every time we are 
accessing an array element we are accessing an element fifth fifth element we are accessing tenth element suppose we have a huge array and we need a uh, array of 10 uh, say 10 billion elements in it and every time and uh, we need to traverse through each element and we need to change some value in each elements of that array then that 10 billion times the subtraction of minus one needs to be done so that's a huge time can be taken for a single time accessing element minus one seems okay that's some microseconds or some nanosecond time would require to do that subtraction but when you're doing that some 10 billion 20 billion or 100 billion trillion times of larger arrays then this would take a huge time that a considerable time to subtract an uh, element and we know this is a constant value so if we know this is a constant value then why there's a need of keeping it we can directly start our values with zero our end is with zero. Say our end is zero, then our end is one, then our end is two, three, and similarly four and five. Okay, this will let go. Let's go forward. There's no need to do an additional subtraction. This number of a huge number of times. Every time we are accessing array, we don't need to do this kind of subtraction, right? We can easily and easily do it with uh like already we can do it just if we just change our indexing of the array and we can we save time in that. So that's why when a computer were made or the uh, scientists or the professionals who did it or the engineers who built a computer so they think of it as a problem and they solved it with just changing the index of the array to zero look that's how you saved a huge amount of time by just changing the indexing of the array so this is what done for your compiler to run on a faster basis to just to help your compiler okay yes this is just to help your compiler and compiler and just for some joke, if you say that compiler don't want the programmers to write any code that confuses it, okay? So it don't want you to write any piece of code that confuses it. So it don't simply allow you to start array index with one. It asks you to start array index with zero so that it can save time or it, it don't get confused to where you need to find it out, right? So that's all for this understanding. I hope I can make you understand why our array index starts with zero. So our array index starts with zero just to help our compiler, just to help us save some time in doing this additional uh, subtraction. So we don't need to do this additional subtraction and that saves time and that helps our compiler to run on a faster basis, right? This is the reason why array index starts with zero. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope I could make you understand why this happens. Hope to see you soon in some next video. Thank you.